Hi everyone, welcome to today's upload. So this is just going to be a quick look at a new watch that I purchased, which is the Garmin Venue SQ2. I hope you enjoy it, it's a little bit of waffle, but um, it's not a complete review, it's just me showing you uh, a couple of the features on it that I like to use when I'm walking. There's lots of really cool YouTubers online who go into mass detail on these watches, but I just want to show you what I use it for, which is walking and hiking, uh, and show you how easy it is to set up your GPS. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. Please remember to subscribe to the channel if you're new here and you like hiking videos and walking videos, and give it a thumbs up. Thank you. Enjoy. Hi everyone, so you may have seen a few of my videos with a watch on my wrist. Well that watch has been the Samsung Watch 3. It's been a decent watch, uh, I've enjoyed wearing it, but the battery life on it is poor. You know, you only get a day's battery out of it really, you have to charge it every night. If you want to go hiking and you put it in GPS mode, well, forget a full walk, you just won't get one. Uh, the battery dies way before you finish a five mile walk, for example. So I decided it was time to invest in a new watch that would give me a few more stats and would have a far superior battery. So everyone, what I went and bought was a Garmin Venue SQ2. A pretty stylish looking watch, if I do say so myself. I was going to opt for a hiking watch from Garmin, but I, the budget just could not stretch that far, unfortunately. Uh, I wish it could have done, but it, it just, I've not got the money. So I opted for this venue SQ2, and I've got to say, everyone, I'm very impressed. Very impressed with it. So there's loads of YouTubers out there who do amazing reviews of these watches and they go into extreme detail on all the different activities you can do on them. Um, but I'm just giving you a quick look so you can see if you just want a basic watch when you're out walking uh, that can track you with a GPS signal, I'm just going to very quickly show you what you do and then at the end I'm just going to show you what the screen looks like with the information on it. Uh, and that way, it gives you some idea. Because there's not a lot of channels that actually just show you that. The, um, a lot of them are watch channels that go into incredible detail on the watch. But a lot of them don't actually show you out walking uh, with them. So, uh, Or explain if you just want to walk with them and um, the options that's on there. So, yeah, it's got a lot of uh, features on here. But I'm just going to very quickly show you the, the basics. Um, and then I'll tell you how much I paid for it at the end. So everyone, this is what the watch looks like on the wrist. I went for the grey colour, slate grey. Very nice. Now the watch face I've downloaded. Now, on this watch face that I've downloaded, you can change a lot of things on it. So you can change the colour of the time, the seconds, uh the battery, the steps, you can change all those. You can have different things in different places. Um, so yeah, uh, I like this because as I'm getting older and getting more blind, it's easy for me to read. So yeah, I know it's a, it's a silly thing, but uh, there are other watch faces that do uh, show less information. But I wanted the temperature, the distance walked. I wanted the... Um, the time displayed clearly, I wanted my heart rate and I wanted my steps on it. And uh, yeah, that's that's basically all I want to show for me personally. So I'm quite happy with this watch face. I mean, I might change it in the future, but at the moment I quite like this very simple watch face. So uh, I'm just going to show you now, if I go for a walk, what you do to set the GPS up. All right, folks. So I'm just about to take a short walk around the field there. So I'll just show you what we would do. Looking at the watch, you basically you tap 
the top button select what you want to do so you can have uh, you can set that up to how you want it so I've just set it for walking indoor walk and then it's then waiting for a GPS signal and that's how quick it was and basically press the top button and away you go and then it begins so then obviously as you're walking it gives you some data which I'll show you later okay it's time for a quick look so yeah it gives you a bit of information there my time my distance uh pace but obviously i've stopped and then my heart rate so here we are guys it's a bit uh as you can see it's a bit wet i've had so much rain over the, the last four weeks but yeah we'll carry on um make way back up towards the hill I'll just show you while I'm walking you can see the distance and and the pace Okay, so my heart rate is now higher, but I've just walked up a quite a big ish hill. Don't look it on camera, but it's quite a steep, short hill. Okay, folks, so I'm getting to the end of my walk now. So basically, to stop it now, you would basically just press the same button, which has stopped it, and then you press the bottom button to save it, or the top button to get rid of it, or the top button to restart. Or just tap it. There we go. And now that's given me my stats. And we'll look at that in more detail when we get back. Okay, so now you've seen it um, on my wrist, I can just basically show you a few things. So what you can do is you can scroll up. Now, as you can see, the scrolling on this um it's good it can be a little bit laggy so you can see it's counted my steps for today uh telling me my calories my heart rate as you can see obviously that's where i've walked oh, we need to come back off that oh that's calories <coughs> intensity uh i can click on steps and you can see the steps i've done and that's just from the walk let's go back you can have an always on display by the way folks but uh, i choose not to do that to say battery you got stress levels and lots of, lots of uh, interesting information but obviously like i was showing you um i wanted to talk about the other features of just walking really uh so you've got notifications as well so you can get tax text on there um all sorts of stuff really various things so we'll just go back to the main screen so yeah you can have uh text notifications sent to your watch and you can send text back as well if you're on android uh, i'm not sure about apple i can't comment on that because i'm using an android device at the moment so now I'm just going to show you some of the information on the actual Garmin Connect app. Okay, so if we go back to today, so this is me, uh, and it's just showing you the walking test that I've just done. Uh, my heart rate, my body battery, my stress, my intensity, the steps I've done today and what my goal is. I've actually got it on auto goal, so it's currently set at 6,300 steps per day, but the watch is fairly new. So it's where it on the first day it set thought I want to do six thousand steps, so it just seems to be increasing it slightly. Um, so yeah, walking. So this is what the information that I like to see. So it's given me the information of the walk that I did, exactly where I started. And you know, if you put it on satellite view, 
I've got to say, it's extremely accurate. All the way around the walk, across the fields. And that's where I stopped. And then around down to the rower line, where once again I stopped to capture the train as it was crossing. And the walk back and then up the hill. As you can see, it was a bit more strenuous. And then I stopped again at the top of the hill. And then back to my stop point. So yeah, uh, a lot of information there. And you can go along, obviously, ask you how you did. You can add notes to it. Distance that you covered, so 1.6 miles. My average heart rate, and you can go on to it. And Oh, it's facing the wrong way. But you can see full details of your heart rate through the walk. So yeah, that's everything on that front to show you. I think the other thing that I didn't really go into, which I probably should have done, um, was the challenges and connections. So obviously on the Garmin Connect app, you can have uh, connections, that's your friends, uh, and you can compare your walks, you can comment on their walks if they share them, choose to share them. Uh, you can do challenges with random people, weekly challenges. And then there's lots and lots and lots of badges you can earn and uh, various different bigger challenges for walking X amount of miles, etc, etc. So, yeah, overall, very happy with the watch. Um, it's uh, brilliant. As you can see, the battery life at the end of that walk was on 79%. Um, and overall, I mean, it was on 95 a few days ago, so three days ago. And it's now on 79, and that's for doing three shortish walks. So, yeah, the battery life's mega on it, to be honest. Um, it's going to give you definitely over 11 days um, battery life if you're not hammering the GPS. But even if you're using the GPS, you're going to get got a good couple of days out of it. Um, so, uh, yeah, overall, very impressed with it. And the price I paid, I got it for a steal, really, at 159 um, it's in a Black Friday sale, so it was a little bit reduced, but you can pick them up for about 190 anyway, 180 to 190 So, yeah, overall, I am very happy with this purchase. So, yeah, if you're thinking about buying one, folks, go ahead. If this review has helped you uh, decide whether you want one or not, please consider a super thanks. And, of course, you don't have to give a super thanks, but a like and subscribe to the channel. Would be quite cool. Uh, I do do a lot of hiking videos in a lot of different areas uh, with my family. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.